styles this Sunday, the third Sunday before Advent. And I guess we all knew in our hearts that we would be back here recording our services. Following our service, um, there will be links for you to follow. Birmingham Cathedral are posting their service for remembrance. So please do click on that service as well. Grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And, and also, also with, with you. you. God so loved the world that he gave his only son Jesus Christ to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven and to bring us to eternal life. So let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolve to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with all. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us. Forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Faithful one whose word is life, come, come with saving power to free our praise, inspire our prayer and shape our lives. Open our lips, O Lord, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. As the deer longs for the water brook, so longs my soul for you, O God. My soul is a thirst for God even for the living God. When shall I come before the presence of God? My tears have been my bread day and night, while all day long they say to me, where is now your God? Now, when I think on these things, I pour out my soul, how I went with the multitude and led the procession to the house of God. With the voice of praise and thanksgiving among those who kept holy day. Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul, and why are you disquieted within me? O oh, put your trust in God, for I will yet give him thanks, who is the help of my countenance and my God. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit. Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. At that time, the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones took their lamps, but did not take any oil with them. The wise ones, however, took oil in jars along with their lamps. The bridegroom was a long time in coming, and they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight, the cry rang out, Here's the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all the virgins woke up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish ones said to the wise, give us some of your oil, our lamps are going out. No, they replied, there may not be enough for both us and you. Instead, go to those who sell oil and buy some for yourself. But while they were on their way to buy the oil, the bridegroom arrived. The virgins who were ready went in with him to the wedding banquet, and the door was shut. 
Later, the others also came. Lord, Lord, they said, open the door for us. But he replied, truly, I tell you, I don't know you. Therefore, keep watch because you do not know the day or the hour. This is the gospel of the Lord. May I speak in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today is the Remembrance Sunday, a Sunday set aside by our church leaders for the remembrance of men and women of this nation and their families who at one time or the other laid down their lives for the protection of lives and properties of the people of this nation. It is really regrettable that because of COVID-19 pandemic, we are unable to commemorate this year's Remembrance Sunday the usual way. Let us not feel so bad about it. Rather, look forward for the future. By the grace of God, the coming years will be better and we will be standing together in our usual way as we honor those great men and women who through their selfless service have done us this great favor. In the course of preparing for this great day, I did find out that this year's Remembrance Sunday centers on the service and sacrifice that people made before and that that many are making today. For this reason, our brief reflection will focus on a question. That question is, of what importance is it to remember and to honor? To attempt answering this question, let's refer to what is written in the Gospel of John, chapter number 15, verse 13. It states, There is no love greater than this, that a person will lay down his life for the sake of his friends. This statement explains better the level of sacrifice that some people made for the sake of others. During the First World War and other wars, laying down their lives for you and I. This is a good sacrifice and should not be overlooked. In the same manner, some people today have traded in their lives in order that some other lives will be saved. An example is the enormous work that our doctors and nurses and other healthcare workers are doing in our various hospitals, looking after COVID patients. Such is a great and a huge sacrifice and should be remembered. When we consider either of the cases, whether those who fought our wars and lost their lives or suffered a major setback, or those who are in danger of losing their lives in their call of duty, we will realize the more why a Remembrance Sunday like today is very necessary. It is also very important to note that whenever anyone sacrifices his or her life for the sake of others, that some people are affected directly or indirectly. Such people need our solidarity, our standing together with them in their pains 
goes a long way to bringing comfort and succor to them. It also reminds them that it was not in vain, but for a good cause that they had lost their loved ones. Let us also remember that it was for such a good cause that our Lord Jesus Christ took the way of the cross and died. He died that we may have life, and that life is life eternal. And those who will have a share in it are those who are watching and waiting. That was why he used the parable of the ten virgins as contained in our gospel reading to remind us of how important it is that we should always be prepared for we do not know the day or the hour when he will come. Therefore, brethren, as we stand together in prayer, in the memory of our heroes and their families, let us also remember to keep watch that the Lord's coming will not take any one of us unawares. Amen. And we say the creed together. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, we acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We need to keep ourselves awake and prepared so that the day of the Lord does not come to us as darkness rather than light. In the power of the Spirit, let us pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, anoint your church all over the world with the oil of your Spirit so that we burn brightly, lighting the dark world with your love and truth. Keep our church communities from error and sin and supply us all through word and sacrament with all our souls require. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, take the false values of our world and append them. Take the oppressed and free them. Take the leaders and inspire them. Take the past and redeem it, the present and fill it, the future, and guide us in it. 
Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, it is in our homes and daily tasks that you train us in loving obedience. We pray for those who have to live and work with us and are familiar with our habits, gifts and faults. May we make the most of the opportunities to love, to forgive, to stand back and to reach out. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, as we pray for all who are ill in body, mind or spirit, surround them with your love and healing, your reassurance and peace. We pray for those who are too weak or exhausted to pray, but simply know that they ache for your comfort. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, as real and living for the dead as for those of us walking through time, we commend to your mercy and love those who have died in your faith and friendship. May we all share in the joy of Christ's coming in glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, all the resources for holiness you lovingly provide and we thank you for your ongoing and unlimited provision almighty father whose will it is to restore all things to your beloved son the king of all govern the hearts and minds of those in authority and bring the families of the nations divided and torn apart by the ravages of sin to be subject to his just and gentle rule, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Merciful Father, accept, accept these prayers for, for the sake, sake of your Son, our, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. The God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. The grace of our, our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen.
Thank you.